The Minister of Tourism, Aviation and Bahamas Air, the Honorable Dionisio Diaguilar, recently revealed in his 2018-2019 budget contribution that the Bahamas needs to manage its own airspace because it does not earn one dime from the estimated 1,500 flights that enter our airspace daily. Minister Diaguilar confirmed that he met with officials of the United States Federal Aviation Administration on striking a renewable 10-year deal to establish the conditions and costs the FAA would continue to manage our airspace. Mr. Speaker, what I learned in preparing for these negotiations was that the Bahamas always felt that it had to ask someone's permission to charge planes flying through our airspace. But what I came to discover was that we didn't have to ask anybody's permission. It was our airspace. It was our sovereign airspace, and we were well within our rights to wake up one morning and decide to charge a reasonable fee to anyone wishing to fly through it. And the FAA agreed with that position. They stated that they would manage the airspace, provide us with the required information, and we could either do it ourselves or hire an independent agent or go out and track down those planes that would fly through our airspace and build and collect a fee from them. These funds are not allowed to go into the consolidated fund to be used to cover general operating expenses of the government. They must be used and can only be used to cover the costs of managing and improving the safety of our aviation sector. And even within the aviation sector, these fees cannot be used for such things as airports. They can only be used to improve and strengthen the systems used for our air navigation through our Bahamas. Aviation Minister also pointed out that in light of the recent airline tragedy in North Andros, he has charged the Bahamas Civil Aviation Authority to work with the Airport Authority, Air Traffic Services, and fixed base operators to identify and target pilots who are unauthorized to fly private flights. At LPAA, I want the FBO operators to ensure that all planes landing and taking off from their facilities have been properly inspected, the pilots have a valid license, and the traveling public have some assurance that the pilot to whom they are paying funds and the plane in which they are flying has been checked and rechecked by the proper authorities to ensure a safe and onward journey. I am not happy that this process has been going so slowly, and I will re-intensify my efforts to ensure the desired system is up and working the next time I speak in this house. I assure the pilots that the BCAA is evaluating the single pilot air operator requirements with the goal to streamline the process to encourage legal operators to be compliant. 